Today we're going to be talking about the Louisiana Purchase. In 1803, President Thomas Jefferson offered Napoleon Bonaparte, who was the Emperor of France, $2 million for the city of New Orleans. At the time, the Mississippi River marked the western border of the United States. Jefferson wanted to buy New Orleans and its seaport to help the American merchants expand their trade with Spain and France. Napoleon told Jefferson that for $15 million he would sell him the entire Louisiana Territory, and that land covered 820,000 square miles. Well, that deal would more than double the size of the United States. The Louisiana Territory stretched from the Mississippi River all the way to the Rocky Mountains, and it included of what is now Louisiana, Arkansas, Kansas, Oklahoma, Missouri, Iowa, South Dakota, and Nebraska, parts of Colorado, Minnesota, North Dakota, Montana, Wyoming, and Texas. And on this map, you can see that what is colored in the bright yellow and labeled the Louisiana Territory. Like many of the founders of the United States, Thomas Jefferson dreamed the United States would one day stretch from coast to coast. The purchase of the Louisiana Territory would be a giant step toward making that dream come true. It would also give the United States a land route and possibly even a river route to the Pacific Ocean. President Jefferson accepted Napoleon's off offer and they named this agreement the Louisiana Purchase. And that is the introduction to the Louisiana Purchase and the Lewis and Clark Expedition.